Shoes, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on the Tribe Defense something. I don't know the name of it. Um, their website's pretty bad. Um, what I do know is it doubles the magnification of the optic that it's on, so we'll get into that. But first, a word from our sponsor for this video. The sponsor for this video is Euro Optic. They have no lead times. Everything, everything on their website is in stock, so there's no messing around with drop shipping. All right, make sure you go on the link below, check them out. Appreciate them for being a sponsor of this video. Um, I don't know, maybe they have this tri tribe defense magnification thing. I don't know. Either way, <clears throat> appreciate them for being a sponsor. Now, another other sponsors of the channel are Global Ordnance for ammo. Check them out below. They're a new ammo sponsor, as well as Lapua. Burger and Vita Vorti, okay? They do all the precision ammo. So if you see any kind of precision shooting go going on in this channel, it's sponsored by them. And I appreciate that very much. Make sure you check out the links below. Now to get into this, it is needless to say, again, that their website is terrible. Tribe, T-R-Y-B-E, defense. Um, that it is one page, it has a video on this that really doesn't say much. Um, but I got it from a, a follower of mine that I met this past summer while I was working wildfires. I got a question on my Instagram on what I think about it. I didn't know anything about it and that's what I said. Did some Googling and that's what I found. And next thing you know, follower hit me up and sent one out to me to do a review on. Um, actually, it's a really cool idea. It mounts onto, actually I'll just pop it off. It mounts onto the objective lens of your, already cut myself once of your scope but the thing is it only mounts onto small ones i think this is a 30 mil one inch i don't know i'll have to get those details for you um but i don't know where to get them because i haven't found any specs on them so i'll find the specs on them too real quick this is a, a primary arms acss raptor for 556 five, 545s five, and uh 308s um one to six so when this mounts on it becomes a 2 to 12. Now, this is part of that. I'm just going to refer to it as a mounting piece. What it does is, so immediately, you can see the Allens in there. You clamp it on, make sure it's nice and level, because you're going to have to zero this. Now, the Tribe Defense Magnifier, that's what I'm just going to call it for now, does not change the zero of your optic. So, say I did not have the magnifier. I had my gun zeroed, everything. All I have to do is take this, mount this on nice and level with the optic, and then I just simply screw this on. There are two lines, a thin one here and a fat one here. You want to line those up. It kind of has a little, when you go to tighten it and it's almost lined up, that's kind of like a little hill you push over and then it stops and it sits flush. They did a really good job of making sure that lines up. <clears throat> but then you have to zero this. You have to zero this to your optic. Now, th this is one point of contention that I actually have with this is, it's lined up. So, this is your elevation and your windage. They don't click like your, well, more typical now for tactile uh, elevation of windage knobs on scopes. They don't click. It's a free spin. Now, they do stay in place fairly well. Um, what I was able to find on the manual that I do have that came with it is between each line, I think is four inches at 100 yards. So it's really minute movements are gonna move that group. Now, with this kind of optic and the way I shoot it, what I employ it for, I'm not worried much about precision in this. I'm not trying to, you know, place exact rounds exactly where I need to be. I mean, I'm mainly shooting 55 grains out of it. So you mount this on, produce a group, and then another point of contention, it doesn't tell you which way is up or which way is down. Yes, a lot of scopes are standardized these days, but still, these are things that are nice to know, especially if you're new to this device or new to shooting in general and you've got your hands on it. That would be nice to know. Um, so, actually, one method I've started doing with a lot of stuff is, where's the Silver Sharpie, which I'll probably put on here later. I'm silver sharpening anything that's black that has information I need to know because I'm a forgetful guy. Um, but it is really nice. So I can run a one to six. This does not change my objective lens at all, this mounting system. And I can still see through it, actually. Gun's clear. And we're down, so no one's freaking out. You can look right down inside here, and it does look smaller, but 
no need to worry. It's not going to change your field of view through your optic. It's going to be the same. Um, and then this views right through. So I imagine this as being something I would keep in my bag, my pouch, um, a general purpose mounted pouch, whether it be on a belt or anything like that. Um, and then put it on when I need it. Say if I need a better identification of target um, or an animal hunting, you know, whatever you're putting this on, or you just need to see a better um, view of the area, you can double the magnification. That's really, really freaking rad actually. But they're lenses. So my first thing, just like with pistol optics that people tend to forget is you never want to scratch your lenses. You never want to touch your lenses. Just like this camera that I'm looking at right now. You never want to touch the lenses. You want to use microfiber cloth, something like that. So what I would like is a simple cap to screw on here and a cap to put on here, like a, a scope bikini, the little rubber ones that sit on them. I would like one of those for this. So I can take this and confidently put it in anywhere, bounce around in the bag and not worry about my lenses because um, I don't want any distortion. And that comes again with the mounting piece. I would like to have one that comes over here too, so that if I, like I did, pull the gun out of my bag, I don't have to worry about anything messing with the lens. Because that was one thing that sucked is having my lens cap had to go in order to have this. But the advantage of being able, okay, you know what? I need to have better identification. I can easily thread this on and it locks into place, the same place every single time. Boom, lines right up and then, there. All right, it's perfect. It doesn't add a lot of weight. It doesn't really, you know, it changes the length of the scope by how big you don't want her to know you are. And it doesn't really change your balancing point, so that's good. Incredibly advantageous. I think it's a great idea. I do think there are some minor improvements that need to be made. And from the, the most annoying part was the zeroing process because you don't know which direction is which unless you shoot to find out. And as we know in ammo apocalypse, that's a pain in the ass. And then you don't know exactly how far you moved it. So you gotta be really, really precise when you're doing that and have proper implementation of your fundamentals of marksmanship behind your weapon system to make sure you're placing those shots perfectly. Remember most of the time when something's going on and you're having a you know an off day, say you wanna say the gun's screwed up, it's usually as you as the shooter, okay? Be humble and uh, you'll start realizing a lot more about your shooting. So I'm gonna run some drills with this, placing it on and off, and I'm, maybe we'll do a shot timer. Yeah, we'll do a shot timer, see how long it takes to throw it on. Uh, from one shot with it off, put it on, one shot with it on. And uh, yeah, it is really handy having something like this with a power throw lever. This is a 3D printed one, makes it a lot easier. But uh, let's see what kind of spice we can work up with this. Real quick, I'm gonna run through it three times. One, put on the Tribe Defense Magnifier, one, to see how long. I'm gonna do that three times so we can get a kind of an aggregate of the uh, time it takes to put this on. Reason being, say if I needed to get it on in a pinch for whatever reason, um, I'm not gonna apply any situation to it because you need the skill, not the situation. The situation will dictate what skill you use. So that's what I'm gonna do for that. I'm gonna use a shot timer on my phone, so hopefully it works because I was a shit bag and forgot about it. Keep in mind, this is in perfect conditions, how fast I can do it. No pressure other than my own self-worth, I suppose. That was 15.09. Okay, that's gonna stop. Take it off, do it again. All I'm doing is shooting a plate at 100 yards, and I am at four power magnification, which means when I put this on, I'm at eight. So, here we go again. Rush doesn't line up that well. Alright, sixteen eight six. Take it off and do one more. Oof. You guys like watching me twist on a cylindrical object and twist it off? Alright, stop. And start one more time.
might be nice to have a little more texture on there. Right, that was 17 on 6. So, the lo further I got, the more tired I got. And yes, I hammered down and safety off because you can't put it on after you hammer it down. Uh, so I'd say it's roughly like 16 seconds is what a what a aggregate score is or time is for that, which I mean really isn't too bad, especially if you think you're somewhere and you're hiking and you need to get a view across a valley or you need to identify an animal. Um, you need to identify an animal to make sure it is what you think it is or it isn't what you hope it's not, whatever situation. Um, this will double your magnification. Now, it's limited in the fact that it can go on, I believe this is a 30 millimeter or one inch two. I'll double check. I'll make sure it's in a write up. I apologize for not having that. Um, because this is all it can go on. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to throw this on my one to eight Griffin Mill reticle, uh, first focal plane from PA, because uh, a two to 16 would be pretty sick to have, especially with that capability. And honestly, I would just leave it there. Um, but it's limited by what it can go on. It's limited by its zero functions. Um, you really gotta be precise and make sure you're, you're placing those shots exactly where you intend so you can make sure it's zeroed. And it's also uh, quite a bloody mess to deal with, so. But you know what, it's actually a cool piece of kit. I think it's pretty sick. Uh, it's it's kind of like something you'd find on Battlefield 2042. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna use it in future videos and possibly missions. Um, to see what uh, we can all squeeze out of it and I'll find a bag or something to slip in so it doesn't get messed up but so far that's the tribe defense magnifier or whatever they call it so big thank you to our sponsor for the, vi the video as well as Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring us as well as Global Ordnance for ammo if you need a link to them to make sure you can get that 556 and 9mm to get out and bang go and check them out as well as our precision rifle ammo which is Burger Bullets, Lapua Brass, and Vita Vorti powders. Um, some of the best out there. So big appreciate to them and as well as our, my Patreon members. If you want to go ahead and sign up for Web Essential Patreon, the link will be down below, as well as a link to all the training courses for 2022 in Washington, Texas, and Montana, and a couple more states to come. Make sure you check those out. <clears throat> and final notes, it's not bad, but you got to bleed for it. Make sure you get out and back.